Hello everyone, Jukka here and uh, welcome to my marvelous flow frequency corner and uh, I would like to show you guys a bit of bass things what I do on our album time and um, first I'm gonna start introducing my better half um, here a five string Ibanez sound gear 5005 and um, on this album, I use two different tunings, both of the basses that I use, the other one over there, is that both of them are five stringers. On that one, I have a standard D tuning, and on this one, a standard D tuning, excluding the thickest string, which is uh, tuned in C. Because, um, for example, on the song Sons of Winter and Stars, there's a lot of faster riffs which I use to see the open C string on, uh, on underneath the whole riff. And I'm doing this and that and all kinds of things. But um, I'm sorry to say guys, today I'm not going to show any bass solos um, because I think that I would like to show you basically the most eccentric and the most important stuff in my opinion which I called actually supportive melodies and um, basically um, the album itself has a lot of arrangements like orchestra, guitars, drums so sometimes there's not that much space to move um, but it definitely doesn't mean that it's a bad thing because the main thing in my opinion is to uh, serve the song and play and play the things that fit to the song, that which makes uh, good composings and sounds good. Because basically, if you're just gonna solo around and try to do a one-man show, that hey, I'm here <laughs> doing my solo things, it might sound stupid. But um, so basically, what I want to show you is stuff that I call supported melodies. Yeah, the first riff that I'm gonna start from is from the song. Sons of Winter and Stars. It's um, a progressive riff that it's on the um, first part of the, of the song, and and uh, well, basically, just gonna push the button and you'll see. Okay, that was the um, the progressive riff that I was talking about, and in the middle middle of the riff you saw this uh, what I called supportive melody, which is well basically adding more variety to the riff rather than just playing the rhythmic parts. And um, but yeah, I'm not done yet. I want to also show you another another riff which goes into the same kind of category. And this this one is from the song Time, and it's from this one middle part, longer middle part, and I'm going to show you a smaller slice of it, which has a, a similar kind of bass melody. Now you got a closer look what I do on the album. 